All right, guys, so we just finished doing the uh, beta flight and the BL heli configuration. Now, these are basic configurations. We're going to get more advanced as we go on, but this is just to make sure everything's working and functioning, and it is flyable at this point. So what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and get your Vista set up, right? So there's a couple things you're going to need to do for that. So the first thing, obviously, you're going to need to do is let's go back to our computer screen here, and let's do this. Here we go. Let me, there we go. Okay, so we're going to use our, oops, let me minimize, let me minimize, let me minimize, and go right here to the DJI uh, assistant to right here for the FPV. Let me go ahead and click yes. And I don't think I have a link for this yet on my side, but I will, let me see, do I have it? I do not, but I will put it on here just so that it's in here. It'll be, it'll be located in alphabetical order, so it'll be right here. Um, and I'll give you a link to that. Um, uh, so feel free to, when you get to this point of the video, feel free to come back to our website here and check this, okay? Uh, anyway, so once you launch that, you've got this DJI FPV assistant right here, right? So here's what we're going to do, and I'm just going to do this this way. So we're going to do one, two, three. There we go. All right. So um, and I know that screen may be a little harder to read, but in other case, what we're going to do here is we're going to have that up and running, and we're going to take the USB-C uh, cable, and we're going to plug that right into our Vista, and we're going to turn it on, okay? And Windows is going to detect the device right here, and I know that might be a little hard to read. Don't worry about it because there's nothing that's being written that matters at this point on the screen. Um, we're just basically gonna get this ready to go. And eventually we should see our Vista appear in this corner, as long as we're running the right version of software. So let's hurry up, and there it is. So once that appears, click, click it. And yes, you wanna start activation. I've got already got my account registered, and I have, I agree to the terms, click next. I agree to the terms, click next. Nobody's reading it right now, and it's not like you can trust them anyway. And then click complete. Okay, now, it, I don't want to use the survey, so click cancel. It's got firmware, so we're going to go ahead and confirm that, and we're going to install the firmware. So let's click that X, and that part's going to run right here. Okay, um, so you've got to do this part, this download here. Now, uh, I will tell you that if you are doing this, uh, I would suggest, and I'm going to get up and go do this here real quickly, I would suggest you put a little portable fan and have it blowing on the Vista. So I use something like this Ryobi fan right here. And have it blowing on the Vista because this Vista is going to get a little warm. Okay, and so that it doesn't have a problem. Let's get that running on there. It does nothing to do it. It's no harm, no nothing, and it's going to work perfect like this. Okay. So we're going to let that update real quickly. that keep running I'm just looking around to see what else we can kind of clean up around here while that's doing that and I'm going to get my goggles and my transmitter and my goggle battery I'm going to see if we can make some magic happen here, okay? There's the goggle battery. There's the goggles. And if you guys ever want these protective, we print these. You can find them on our website. So we make these here, print them, and send them to you. They're great for putting on here, and they hold your SD card and your antennas and everything else. Uh, let me get that ready. Let me get my goggle battery set up. The update's almost done. I'm just gonna get the goggles on and ready to go. And I'm gonna get my transmitter on and ready to go. We're at 48%, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, oh, we're going SD card. I'm going to put this SD card in the goggles so that when I test fly it today, you guys can see what it was like. Oh, that means I better charge a battery too. Oops, I guess I better get on that as well. My bad. 
So while that's updating, I'm gonna get these batteries ready. charge that battery. This way we can do our test flight. We're still at 68%. So that should be going. I'm just going to clean up a few things here. Almost done, almost done. Okay, look at that, so we're done now. Okay, so now we can go ahead and click back. And I'm just gonna close this screen and click yes. And now let's get back to the, whoops, let's do it this way. Let's do that, okay, great. So now that we're done, I'm gonna still leave this fan on here though, but I am gonna now unplug the USB and I'm gonna bring the goggles over here because the goggles always go first in pairing. So if you fold this up here, you're gonna wait for the light to turn green here, which it should do in just a second. There it is. Now you can just press that little black button that's right near the USB right there puts it into pairing mode and or binding mode and then we're going to go ahead and press our goggles here it chime it chimes again and there's the green light which means we should have video and with our with our cover on we do so let's there we go uh, okay and then what we're going to do is now we need to bind our receiver my goggles don't have I have to update the firmware on my goggles because I have an old firmware all right, so ready? We're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take, press the button here, turn it red. Then we're gonna take the red button on the top left, the wheel on the top right, and this button right here. And at the same time, press them all in. And there it goes, it turned green. And we are golden, guys, so that's it. So now what we do is we head back over to Betaflight, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug our micro USB back into the bottom. Remember, I've got the I've got the fan, okay. So the fan's on. So this is staying cool right now. Make sure you pay attention to your Vista because it will get hot. So you need to give it something cool there. And I am going to go ahead and open the screen back up. Let's do that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that my radio is connected properly. So I'm going to click Connect. And let's make sure everything's good here. And I'm going to go to my modes. And I'm going to click my arm. Okay, so I have nothing here yet, so let me go to receiver. Okay, so I have no receiver. Oh, you know what? I don't think I set the, um, let me go to receiver tab. I don't think I changed it. Sorry. So go to your receiver tab, my bad. And you want to go here and you want to select um, uh, Serial UART and you want to select S Plus. Oh my gosh, I forgot. They, they moved it from the original screen. On, so, all right, so now let's click connect and let's go to receiver. Okay. 
and we are set. See, when I move throttle, it moves. Everything's great, right? Uh, we, we do need to calibrate this a little bit because, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that now that my receiver's on, I'm getting good signal here. I'm going to go to my modes, and I'm going to click my range for arming, and that's going to be my top left button right here, my left switch. So I'm going to move that here. I'm going to go to my angle and my horizon, and I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to click add range. My top right will go here, and horizon will be in the middle. And then acro with air, so I'm going to scroll down until I find air mode. And that's going to be all the way over here. Okay. Now let's go to fail safe. And that will be this button here. And I'll set fail safe over here. And if I do add a beeper onto this thing, I'll use the same thing as fail safe and set it in the middle. So now I am all set. Angle, horizon, acro with air, arm, disarm, and then fail safe. Okay. So now if I go to my motors tab and I come over here and I just say arm it and I click this, my motor starts spinning. So we are ready to fly. This is it. I mean, we're ready, guys. We're golden. Okay. Now, let me look at my goggles again because my OSD is okay. Um, so it does look good. I've got all my OSD on here, 13 volts. I can see acro mode, all that. So now what I want to do is it's time to set up the props, right? So let me grab the props here real quickly. There's some right here. I know I had them. I don't know where I put them. But there's a lot of stuff on my desk, so there's no telling. But here we go. All right, so let's set these props up real quick. Now, I know some of you will do the props in reverse order. So just hang tight. Uh, but I don't, okay? Not right now. So I'm going to put my right turning props on. Uh, motors 1 and 4. And my left turning props on motors 3 and 2. Okay, so if you have them reversed, then you can do that. That's fine. But we are ready to go. Now, the only other thing left to do would be to just look at the motors and make sure that they are spinning motor one. Okay, motor two. Perfect. Motor three. And motor four. Guys, this thing's ready to go. I don't see a reason why we can't fly it, so let's go ahead and disconnect. <coughs> we can turn off the uh, the fan right now. This is a decent configuration as it is stock to get ready to test it. So we're going to unplug this. We're going to unplug our USB here. And be very careful that you do not. There you go. Do not break it. There we go. And I'm going to get the battery. And I'm going to be right back here, and we're going to take this for a little test flight around the shop. Okay, guys? See you in just a